You're watching the Big Three on CBS. And one game in the books in Dallas, Texas. Game two coming up. Should be a dandy power at two and three against the aliens who come in four and one. Ed Cohen back with the former Dallas Maverick, Jim Jackson. So three-headed monsters first game get to five and one. Aliens right now, tough matchup against power, yep. but a chance to join them in first place. Uh, yeah, this this is why it's important. I mean, you want to stay head and head. Three-headed monsters, they took care of their business. The aliens, the European influence have been playing outstanding basketball. Has a chance in Dusan Bullock playing against his former team. So it has a little bit more significance, not just winning the game, but competing against his former teammates. You mentioned the international flavor for the Aliens, but the Sean Stevens as of late has been such a force inside. In the versatility, you see it right there, 17 points, but it's the rebounding. You can put him on the block, he can go one-on-one. -on -one. Not a great free throw shooter, but he can step out and knock in threes, which is ironic, you know? So. He adds so much versatility to the game, and we saw in the first game without having Larry Sanders, a shot blocker, to turn at the rim, it takes away from what you do defensively, and you see what Stevens can do. Those are just the points. We're not talking about the influence he has on the defensive end. Jim, we were there on draft night mm -hmm. back in May. Glenn yep. Rice Jr., number one pick in the draft for power. He has looked the part this season. Well, that's the reason why. The, again, 16 points, you see it. Two, two and a half assists can score the ball, and for power, if they want to, which they do want to win this game, I think he has to be active early and often, you know, for power. Today's roster is presented by PNC Bank. The captain, Katino Mobley, made some big threes early last week in power loss. And for the aliens, Desan Bullock, Jimmy mentioned, the captain and former member of power last season, leading the aliens into this one. And the baddest bad boy of them all, Rick Mahorn. Man, I'm not thinking about Rick. I just, you know, I got some words for him. That's my guy. He was my assistant coach with the a and I love, I mean, for him to be a bad boy, the soft personality he has is unbelievable. Talking about soft personality. Ooh, she doesn't have one. She'll just <laughs> put you, kick your butt in the gym, laugh at you, shake your hand, and take you out to eat afterwards. Lady matching, Nancy Lieberman, champion with power back in 2018. All right, key rules. In the big three, first 50 wins. There's no game clock. Shot clock is 14 seconds. Free throws, so valuable. Get one shot for two, yes. three, or four points. We saw that game one. And of course, the four point shot unique to the big three. If you make a four point shot from one of the three four point circles, each 30 feet away, that could really boost your club. Let's do it. Alien start, but a cut by Las Vegas. Love it. Missed. And White with the cleanup as it never hit the rim. Well, I mean, but it, I love the play coming into the game. It was just that Las Vegas a little bit off balance. Didn't hit the rim, benefiting a quick two by Royce White underneath. When you think about the aliens, the passing, the cutting, yep. the, move, the ball movement. Bullet. Hits and the shooting. Shot. Oh, yeah, boy, he can do it. And the shooting. But all of that movement keeps you occupied and opens up that type of shot right there. Now, it's tough to do all game, you know, to maintain that. But if you can do it, it's a reason why the Aliens are 4 and one Beautiful two-man game that time. Bryce Jr. and Royce. 4-3. Power with the early advantage. Stevens, Las Manas. And Bullet for the Aliens against Mobley, Royce White, and Glenn Rice Jr. Bullet again, same spot, short this time. Bullet from Serbia, one of the best 3x3 players before coming to the big three. Two man game again, Rice sets it up and hits. Las well, is a good defense. For Rice. Free. All that movement he did right there was all to create space. Just the, the roundabout head fake and the jab set. He just wanted to create that opportunity to get that shot up. Las Manas, the lefty. Almost got the bounce. Mobley, look off. White glides in for two. White, and that was all Mobley. Yeah, but this is the start you want for power. The aliens. You know, seeking to get that number one slot to stay with three-headed monsters. And you got to start it off. But we saw it last game as well, where Tri-State got off to an early start, but it was three-headed that was able to close that gap. Right. Nice reverse Carlos. by Carlos Las Manas, native of Latvia. 
nine to five power here in the early going. Las Manas winning gold at the Olympics in three on three in Tokyo. Hit the game winner to clinch gold. And brought over with this international flavor with the aliens. Rice losing it. Last touch by Las Manas. And you think about the influence. The big three for the aliens. Bullet, Las Manas, Tomislav Ivasev played with Bullet back in Serbia as well. Yeah, the bounce call is being challenged. You know, you know the, 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 we watch football, basketball, baseball. You know, teams tend to mimic other successful teams. You yeah. see Golden State, they want to play like Golden State. Everybody... But you have to have the personnel. The success of the Aliens this year of not having success in the past based around this European field, ball movement, quickness. It would be interesting to see how successful that means because it result in the championship. And if it does, next year's draft oh, yeah. on how you then maybe change the mindset of how you draft and who you draft to play a more wide open system ball movement. Now the challenge here, see who touched it last. Looked like it was off the foot of Glenn Rice. So what did you see? I called the first one in the first game. And I got the three-point shot right. So what did you see? Off the leg of the number one pick. Okay. A little trepidation there. You, took, you hesitated a little bit. Be confident when you say it with your chest. Jim, you've got it all the way. I, <laughs> I give it thought and reason. Oh, oh come on, man. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to put it out there. Go with it. Oh, yeah. No, oh, good defense. Good help that time by Jim Rice Jr. to read it out. Seek that play and take it away. Royce White missed the rim. Yeah. Stevens oh. hangs. Oh, no. Should have been goaltending. Should have been goaltending. Yes, it should have been goaltending because he pulled the net. And they give the basket to White. Wow. And again, no hesitation by you. No. Called it all the way. Well, it's easy for me. I, I'm the official over here that has no consequence. <laughs> if I get it right or wrong. Bullet. Oh, yeah, push. One leg is banks it in. And the foul. What a play by Dusan Bullet. Well, let's go back and let's see if, if I would have been a really good official here. I could have pulled a Richard Jefferson like he did in the summer league. It is a goal today. <laughs> Not only, I thought he pulled the net, but he grabbed the rim. So they missed that totally. Then Bullet right back able to capitalize on. Did you see that with Richard Jefferson? He set the standard. Former players. Yeah, somebody asked me, I said, no, I'm not doing it. I'll, <laughs> I'll go to a session and learn more. But that was actually, it was, it was really good because I think the officials appreciated that because we don't understand the challenge a lot of times of their job. I mean, you can, like football, you can call holding every play. Basketball, you can call some kind of touch foul every play. It's, it's difficult when you have to officiate the best and the greatest out there. You know, do it right. There's a solution to all this. Talk to me. I think you nope. have to officiate a big three game pretty soon. You uh, game? Me and Ice Cube had to talk about it. <laughs> Good start for power. 13 to 8 with the lead on the aliens. And Royce White taking care of business in the early going on CBS. Each week, fans can help select the Microsoft Big 3 Player of the Week. You can go online to Big3.com or Big 3 social media accounts to vote. We'll reveal the results from Week 6 next Saturday. Game 2 here in Dallas on CBS. And the Aliens trailing power 13-8. Jim, huge story of the Big 3 season. This guy, Deshaun Stevens, and you think about his road to the Big 3 college at San Diego State and then you talk about the road the journey out to Japan and working his way slowly but surely back to the U.S. But it shows the love of the game because it's easy to stop maybe after Turkey when it doesn't happen because you would love to be in one place and stay. Trust me, I yeah. know. You know, 12 <laughs> teams. You know, but he's doing it differently because these are not just teams in the United States. You're traveling across the world at different places, different venues every year different circumstances, different environments, different cultures. But the common denominator is that he loved to play basketball. And so everybody's journey is different. You appreciate it a lot more. I'm glad to see that he's blessed us with his talent here in the Big Three this year. Go to the foul line for a two-point shot on the foul by Royce White. You have a big theme of the Big Three this season. As Stevens from the U.S., you have the Aliens and their international guys. Great. 
is they have so many players in the big three who have played at some point overseas. TJ Klein is one of them playing in Israel. And they've seen each other play, and that has helped in terms of who to draft, who to pick yep. up. Mm -hmm. And there's been that scouting by the experience playing away from the U.S. But more important, it's experience of playing professional basketball. Yeah. And again, it brings a different flavor. Look at this ball moving right here. Okay, Misses the shot, but that's beautiful basketball. So it gives you diversity within the big three of the styles of basketball. Hence, is paying huge dividends right now for the aliens. Wipe the fake and the finish. And one. And one. I tell you, the middle pick and roll is so tough to guard, especially when you have a shooter like Glenn Rice Jr. that can beat you. Now you have to guard that, but in the middle, you don't have help. If you can drop that diamond, that pocket pass, you're going to have a one on one advantage and right able to take advantage of it. Let's see if he can complete it with the free throw. Stevens gets a breather. Thomas Lavivasev in the game for the Aliens. And there's the free throw for Royce White. Power by eight. How about Royce White, Jim, with 13 mm -hmm. in the early going? Yeah. Bullet straight on. Wow. Knocks down the three. Oh it's simple offense, though. It was a pick and roll one side. The ball swings, defensive ships. Evil Seth not going to shoot it, got it quickly right back to Bush. I mean, it's, it's simple and easy basketball that works. Clockwork. Bullet, Evil Seth, oh, and Las the three international guys, as the foul here on the inbounds on Evil Seth. Let's go back to Bullet. Just simple basketball. Touch pass. Glenn Rice Jr. a little late to the party to contest that shot. Bullet able to knock it in. White fakes the give, now finds Rice. In deep to Klein. Mm -mm. Shot clock at four. Klein comes out. They maintain it. Good hustle by both players, but it was Klein who hit it last. Power's ability to go longer. White, Klein, Rice on full display now. Well, it allows you to switch and not get him beat, but again, you gotta guard this movement. At that time, Rice Jr. was able to get back and take it away. The backdoor cut. Off the turnover. Klein scooping it in. And, and that's how you got to beat this team. The aliens miscues you have to take advantage of. Yeah. And that's what Power has been able to do here in this first half. Oh, off the Huge flat. screen. Klein decked. Yeah. It's going the other way. Well, you know, the ESPYs were the other day. People winning a lot of awards that time. I caught this award right here. <laughs> he, he he exaggerated it, right? Did he, did he get hit? Yeah. But he, he exaggerated, and the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Mr. Klein. Mr. Klein, best supporting actor right there. Hollywood, if you will. Mm -hmm. You have to look for it. got the hair. Definitely got the hair for it right now. He just turned 28, son of Nancy Lieberman. It's so fun watching... The dynamic of those two and the love obviously with the love they have for the game for playing and coaching being on the same team mm -hmm. See, she yells something and he yells something <laughs> it's just mother and son Ooh, cross oh step back oh she left the short air ball miss shot miss oh, good Steve. for stevens i right, remember i used this $20 move. Now he went in $5 finish. That was a $2 because he shot an air ball from like 10 feet. That was a Jefferson. Oh, Nikita's feeding. Nikita's feeding. <laughs> 2013 power. First to 25 gets us to the break. Bullet. Again, Skittish feeling. The switch, too much. Never hit the rim. Skittish feeling with the finish. Well, you got to remember, Skittish feeling was picked fifth by Denver in 2002 draft. So he could do this. Watch the move, though, to set up. Uh 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 uh. Shoulder, shimmy. And then Kareem would be so proud of this right now with the actual sky hook. 
That technical foul on Bullet. No frustration. What do you think? Against your former team? Yeah. Why not? By the way, you mentioned Kareem. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, you figure, at some point, if he stays healthy, is going to break the NBA scoring record this season. But what's great about that is everyone's going to be talking about Kareem all year long and going back to what he did best, the sky hook, the scoring. Yeah, from a guy in LeBron that is really not known to be a scorer, so to speak, yeah. not labeled. But, you know, Kareem, and Kareem did it. Right He'll point this out. I think he shot one three-pointer. Right. Um, but he, here's the thing I will say, and this is not taking anything from LeBron James because what he's been able to accomplish is incredible. These scoring records, shooting records, are all going to be broken. Why? The ability to utilize a three-point shot. You're going to have more possessions. You play faster. So you're going to score eventually more points. You're going to shoot. to be broken because you can't compare the errors in regards to how those points were scored. But that doesn't take away from the greatness of Kareem, and it certainly doesn't take away the greatness of Mr. LeBron James. No. The one guy who's sitting pretty is A.C. Green. Not a scoring record, but no one's playing as many games oh, no, in a row no, at all. she did. No, no, that's like Hal Ripken, right? Never again. In baseball, right? Correct. The Iron Man of the NBA. Yep. I had a chance to play with AC here, a fifth year. A great guy, too, man. Oh, what? Wave it off. Now they're going to talk about it. They got to. Nancy's coming over. Because he caught it in motion, and it depends on when they called the foul. Was it on the initial bump? Yeah. Count the basket. Listen, I'm great official right here <laughs> at the scores table when there's no pressure. Right, kudos to Dave Posner, Charles Rubia, Dave yep. Powell for getting it right, getting together. Also count the basket. That's going to bring us to the break because Powers scored 26. But wait a minute. Skittish really getting ready for the free throw. Thought for a moment Rick Mahorn might bring the fire, but that does not appear to be. Power, what a first half. Back in the first half, it's Power 27. Yeah, former champions acting like one right now. Nancy Lieberman has her team focused right now, up and able to put aliens back on their toes. 27-13. Halftime of game two. Put up your dukes, get ready. Big three, week six on CBS. Three on CBS Sports is sponsored by American Home Shield. Keeps your home up and running and your budget on track. Learn more at AHS.com. Aaron Dallas, Michael Blackson is courtside for this Sunday matinee, week six in the big three. Always great to see the folks courtside in this one. Power. 27-13 mm -hmm. lead against the aliens oh, at the break on, on CBS. Ed Cohen back with Jim Jackson. Royce White leading the way for power with 13 points. Nancy Lieberman's squad looking good in the early going. Well, it's not just the points. You Royce has the 13. You have some other contributors. But defensively, they've kind of taken the aliens out of what I mean. Not a lot of open shots. They've been able to guard the multiple movements in motion of the aliens, hence taking away some easy layups and not fouling, putting them to the free throw line. Now, another half to go. Yeah. Can they complete the puzzle? We'll see. Aliens trying to get to five and one, join the three-headed monsters in first place. So how have these teams done it so far? Let's take a look at the big three heat vision powered by Microsoft. Well, you see both 13 shots. The team on the left has been more successful making six more, 11 for 13. That's a very high percentage by my math, and I went to a public school. Uh, but it's been the defense, I think, by power that's forced the aliens to be uncomfortable. Here's what we see with Rick Mahorn, former champion here in the Big Three, also in the NBA. What adjustments he makes offensively uh, to see if they can get their offense going. Nancy Lieberman has to like 11 of 13. She's mic'd up. Great first half because you stayed tight to the game plan. 
you are talking on defense, you're helping each other. Continue that, don't lose that, take it up a notch. They're gonna be desperate, okay? We your aggressiveness is fantastic, okay? Stay focused on the sole goal here, and that's this team playing good, dis disciplined basketball. She likes it for well, good reason, but the first thing she said was, you, st you stay disciplined to the game plan defensively. Not offensively, we may, no. We say discipline, and again, that's a tough ask to do, but they were able to do it in the first half, and I love the fact that how her demeanor was, listen, we still got stuff we need to do. Got Tina Mobley in the beginning of the half with White and Rice for power against Bullet Stevens and Las Manas for the aliens. They're Sean Stevens, Stevens. Stevens. He talks so much about the rebounding. He can shoot it too. Well, you know, I said at the top of the show that he can shoot the three ball, but he has problems when he gets to the free throw line. Right. When he has to sit there. But that one, you'd rather have Stevens, or I'll tell you what, shoot that shot than just to dominate you in the paint. Let's keep our eye on the Catino moment. I know his Achilles was a little sore, Ooh, Catino, but he can still do that. He went the first bunch to get his shot up. And Cat able to knock it in. Hit three early threes last week and a power loss against Bibwack. Going right back to work now. Bullet, oh. fly by, give and go to the rim. Knocked away. Cats there. He's stripped by Stevens. It'll stay with power. Well, you're talking about not having a lot of air room to operate. Watch this. Pass in the face. Dre D better O. He's almost foul, too. Royce White, the big first half. Off the screen. Mobley, hand in his face. Hits another one. Mobley for three. We were talking about the first game, guys. He just scored Rashad Lewis. Cat just knows how to get buckets, man. I mean, and that's two really good defensive plays by Bullet. I mean, being in his face. And this is Cat just squaring up. But being a lefty that time. What helps on that side, see how his shoulder was pointed towards the rim? Yeah. He didn't have to square up because he's pointing right at the rim being the lefty. He was able to knock that one over the outstretched hands of Bullock. The captain, 11 NBA seasons, yep. fades away, off the mark. Uh, my guy, we were together with the Rockets. His family and my family became really close and we're both in L.A. and our kids, I mean, just wonderful human being he is he's beloved from philadelphia cardinal doherty yep. high school he was a freshman in high school and looked up to a guy named chris smooth williams philly kid a lefty played him in hand college lefty. all about the lefties right yeah. well it's funny too when you when you're a kid a lot of times you think that you look up to guys that are you know, pro players, whatever, but it may be a guy that plays Division One, Division Two, that in your neighborhood that you understand his story. He relates to you so much. It's not the pro player, right? Like you said, it's him. And you never forget those guys not, at all. Yeah, I had guys like there's a guy Melvin Newburn who uh, from Toledo, Ohio, played at University of Minnesota. But he was the guy that at the time I looked up to that took me under his wing. Um, we, and I eventually ended up playing against him my freshman year when he played at University of Minnesota his senior year. Wow. But he was the guy. A couple kids from the 419. 419, baby. Yep. White the roll. Doubles. Nice help that time by Stevens. Nice help. He's got the steal. Pull it inside. Flicks it up and in. I, I think you know what was beautiful about that play. We talked about the influence Stevens can have on the defensive end. Well, here it is. Not only does he clog the lane from Royce White getting a shot, he deflects it. It keeps it in play. Bullet now able to gather and finish for a three-point play. Klein in, and Royce White will get a breather. Except for power now, Klein, Mobley, and Rice against Bullet, Stevens, and Ivasev. And Bullet with the three point play. Gives him 12 points. So, Bullet going against his former team. Jim, you made a living of playing against your former teams in the NBA, but does it hold something special? 
At first it does. Okay. It, it depends on what kind of, I think, CC Grace. Oh, he got stuck up there. Oh, Reggie. Um, how ingrained you are to that team. Like, if it's a quick stop, it really doesn't matter if you right. play against them later on. But if you have a vested emotional interest in that team, then yes, it does have the emotional context to it, and it does mean a little bit more than just a game. And you can see Bullet right now starting to find his range. He's got 15 points. Last year with power, he averaged over 19 per game. He's got that shooting stroke today. Yeah. Klein, quick to the spot Steve after the Klein. beat from Rice. Beautifully done. Well, that's called communication without saying anything. That was eyes up, a little point. Rice Jr. able to hit Klein going back door. Now that's really good offense, but it was poor defense to have that pass go from half court all the way to the basket, too, though. Take it up. Miss shot. He just said wanted a foul. And Klein with the cleanup. And Power with that little burst. Back up by 13. All about the passing from Power. Well, it is, but it's the lack of attention to detail. You can't have a pass come from all the way to half court. Stevens turns his back, his back door again. You don't have anything on the back line. And Power on full to CBS. And the leaderboard from Minneapolis, Scott Piercy at 20 under in first place in the final round. Here in Dallas, let's take a look at today's monster moment. And Jim, Kevin Murphy going off in game one with 31 points. Buckets, if they could close it out, maybe the new MVP of the big three. Again, a lot of games left to be played, but like I said during that game, it could be is his to lose in regards to that award. But I know more importantly for him, he wants to get a chip under his belt. Rookie of the year last year, Kevin Murphy. How about Stevens to be the rookie of the year this season? Steps on Klein. Nancy Lieberman squad trying to get to 500. They have never finished below 500 in their history. Yep. Well, I mean, during that same thing, Nancy won it as a female coach, and then right after that, it was Lisa Leslie yep. who won it. Nancy wants to get a, another piece of that against Good Stevens again and lose ball five on the floor. So now that's a three, plus the possession comes back to the aliens. So it could be a potential five to six point play or if it's a four point shot seven point play possession can the aliens capitalize bullet ready to seize on the switch against white step to his right give and go stevens uh bump the card around and it's going back to power on the turnover Ed Cohen, Jim Jackson, our entire crew on CBS from Dallas. Game two of the day here in the big three. TJ Klein, spinorama, hook shots good Klein. for Klein. What a move. Now, if you were to wipe away the records, you would think that Power was the one that was 4-1 and one and were competing to stay atop top of the charts with three-headed monsters. But I love the job, except for that, <laughs> that Power has done defensively. They played physical which is the key, and without foul. Right. This group, if you take away some close losses, would be right there. White behind the back, gets away from Klein. Bullet to the rim. Look at Ivasev, the save. Stevens going to work off the switch. Air ball, Ivasev spins, and here lets it in. Mm -hmm. Has a knack for being in the right spot at the right time. Oh, yeah. I mean, you do that too. You understand spacing on the court, not to overextend yourself. And that's offensively and defensively too. That way, you're always in the picture. Great split that time. Like Rice oh, Jr. All the way to the crease. And Stevens couldn't commit. He was like, "Okay, do, if I try to commit to taking away the block shot, Klein is opening the corner." So he was in that gray area. You know what they say when you're in the gray area. You're in trouble. <laughs> Stevens ducks in and it hits. Tough shot over White. 
He's got 10. The shot making really picking up on both sides. But it's not a lot of bailout shots by power either. And notice this too. They haven't given the aliens opportunities to have easy baskets by, you know, shots not hitting the rim or turnovers except for that one right there. But then they got it back. And then they were able to capitalize. White to Klein. And power is feeling it in Big D. But, but. You always say this, the ball finds energy. Yeah, power has had energy this whole afternoon. And guess what? Even on that deflection, the ball found Klein for two inside. 43-33 power. Look at Klein defending Stevens. Bullet the fake. Drives by White. Flips it up. And Deuce scores with the bullets. Dushan with the finish. You know, to all the young... Men and women watching the game and boys and girls, that play right there was a prime example of concentration. Bullet looks up at the rim, eyes up. He knows the contact is coming, but his focus was still at the rim. Hence, he was able to identify where he wanted to kiss it off the glass and then finish. Sitting on 19 now. Mr. Bulletproof. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Powers. Been in control, 43-36, but it's only a seven-point game. And, I, and we said this before, how quickly you can get back in this game. You know, seven points is nothing. You know, it could be two possessions. Oh, uh, Bullet's furious. Did he, did he reach down at the end, though? He's not getting his money's worth with his words, but with his eyes. Look, nah, he's up on him right there. He's going to get a foul call. Told you. Back to back. I told you. Now, but he has to be smart because you don't want to put power in a situation where they're in the penalty. So you got to be smart because you make the free throw, you retain possession. You want to be the one that benefits from that. So Bullet has to be a little bit smarter. You can be aggressive, but don't foul away, from, you know, 25, 28 feet away. And there's a substitution right now unless Minus comes in for Bullet. And I think he and Rick are talking about that right now. Prep just wants to talk to him real quick and put him back in. Each team with three fouls. Skittish feeling. And the mismatch with the finish over Las Manas. Now, how about the decision? He was going to kick it out the climb with the little pump fake. But he knew that once he did that, he had the height advantage over Klein. He just bullied his way inside for a nice little jump hook. Nine-point game, Las Manas not there. Stevens flung it in to Las Manas. Shoots and scores. What a play by Stevens with the save. You can hear Nancy scream, we need the effort. He said, this is where we need effort. Again, because that was Stevens who wanted it a little bit more on that possession, able to save it. Oh, oh. Klein right through the fingertips. Execution perfect until the bitter end. Let's keep an eye on that possession right there. Because that could have been 47 points right there. A lost opportunity. Let's keep an eye. 45 to 38. Timeout aliens. 45-38 power with the lead. In game number two, and we're back in 30 seconds after this. Hey! Got some happy kiddos! And a sign, too. Autograph right there. Love it. He's got the dance moves, too. Shot of the day is presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Well, let's see what it is. Is it the Kareem Skyhook off the glass? Watch the shimmy. Ah, uh, you don't want none of that, Stevens. 
Nicholas Skidishvili, seven footer. We mentioned Jim, the fifth pick in 2002. Yao Ming went number one that year. Drew Gooden was picked one spot ahead of Skidishvili at number four. All right, you're the aliens, you're down seven. The window's open, even if so slightly. Bullet pops out, behind the back, gets by Rice. Oh. Lost it with six to shoot, stays with the aliens. Six seconds on the shot clock, so Bullet has to be aware of that, as well as power, not to bail him out. Oh, oh, sucks you down. Bullet. It's a three Bullet. for Bullet. Oh. Lead down to four. Yep. Bullet with 23. Yeah. What did we say? You can close it. But great response oh, right there. Shoot. And a real X. I like, I like to play with like a cross screen action that got Rice to be able to catch that on the move a little bit and use his size to score. Outstanding response that time by Power. Power's got point game. Yep. Bullet sizing up Skittish really. Bullet to the rim. Fouled. Got a two point shot. And if you make this, it's four and you get the ball back. Oh, yeah. You know and that's where Nancy Lieberman nice. says, bring the fire. Oh, Lieberman, Power. They want to bring the fire. This is where the strategy comes in, and you figure Bullet's going to make the two. Yep. If he's going to make it, force him to have to do it one-on-one -on -one against a taller opponent rather than at the free throw line. So this is an interesting matchup, and we'll see how creative Bullet is to use his speed and quickness versus uh, the size. Let's get a feeling right here. I like, I like the strategy right here by Nancy. One-on-one. So Bullet Bring scores or is fouled. Allen's get two points. If Skittish Field gets a stop, wave it off. Bullet, spin move, leans in. Fouled by Skittish Feely, so give the two points to the Aliens. Thought for a moment it may have been clear. Yeah, no, but you, you know, but the thing I like about it is this. You can't influence whether Bullet makes the free throw or misses. But you can influence whether he gets two points by playing defense. Yeah. And that time, Jesus really all the way to the end was right there, but then the body got him and caused the two points. So I, I thought it was a really good strategic play by Nancy Lieberman. TJ Klein leveled. Two point shot with power. Needing three points for victory. Oh, yeah. But they didn't settle. Here we go. This, they get it smart. The it, it's smart. It's smart. Time to bring the fire again from Rick Mahorn. But I like the fact that power, he can easily just bail out and shoot a three point shot and try to win it that way. But Klein felt he had the size. Took bullet to the. to the. Why is it. So they called the foul on. Ivasev. Ivasev. Okay, they didn't call it on bullet. Okay, that's right. But smart to use it here. Defense. And again, the numbers skew towards the defense being more successful during the course of this year and bring the fire than offense. Here we go. Klein against Ivasev. TJ Klein spins to the rim, scores. E. What a move by Klein. Klein for power. And they lead by six. The hometown guy delivers on the Bring the Fire Challenge. Well, even saw he had to back it up. The hesitation spin move right there. But the tight spin move allowed him to spin under control, and he was right at the basket. Let's see what the aliens do. Two possession game. Bullet for four. Off the mark. Tip to Skittish. Really now it needs now you to be take it back. cleared. And the three clearly hit the rim. Too good I, to be true. I, I love the look on his face of utterly confusion. Of like, <laughs> like utterly. I think he's thinking after the ball hit the rim yep. that it got tipped to him. 
But uh, yeah, brain freeze that time. But can you take advantage of it? Can you take advantage of it? Can you? No. No. Out of bounds, though. They'll get it back with 14 to shoot. This is the beauty of bring the fire, the four-point shot, clearing the basketball all in one. All strategy. You know, you just don't score baskets. You use strategy to get yourself in a situation to be able to be successful. Oh. Uh oh, it gets open. Uh-oh. Gets it back. Power 49, Aliens 43. All right. They lost it. They Off lost the it. Leg. Well, let's see if he gets hit. He's calling for the foul here. He pushes, and it goes off his leg. Power calls. Was well, it some contact? Yeah, but it's contact every play. That time he drove into traffic. Good hands. By, by power. Hey, fans, be sure you're following the Big Three on Twitter at the Big Three, Facebook at the Big Three Basketball. If power can strike the here three, and win this game, it'll be a huge victory and for the Lady Magic the big three and the Power Squad. Now. Two and three record some close losses and again they have never finished below 500 let's look at the standings there's one team at the top that's the three-headed monsters with the win earlier today over tri-state they're five and one aliens with four wins trilogy has played well lately there are four wins and then it's really going to be a fight a tiebreakers records over the final two weeks with everybody else well, but this gets them right here in that key fourth spot situation yep. the top of the charts the seconds are four and one four and two now you got third place which is a hodgepodge of teams that are right there even so it gets you where you need to be for the last few weeks heading to the playoffs top four teams get in semis in tampa august 14th the final in atlanta should be great at state farm arena Point game for power. Oh, beautiful play. Right inside the beautiful cut and the finish. Your game over. Power, power over the yeah, aliens. Another family affair and victory in Dallas. And Nusan Bullet with an embrace for his former coach here in the big three. Point game, game winner, TJ Klein. And there's Mom. And Cat, well played by the entire crew. Our 28th birthday yesterday, and TJ Klein making it stick. Power three and three, the aliens fall to four and two here in 2022. Let's go to Jimmy with Lady Magic. Are you allowed to be that handsome? Well, no, no, listen. It's in the blood. You are beautiful, still running things. Your son is out there killing. Listen, okay, let, let me walk through this, the last play. Drew it up underneath, out of bounds, your perfection. This is a play called Richmond. TJ has been running it since he got there. Uh, and he just slips the screen. We worked on it all week. And thank God our guys made it work. Well, but the game plan early on has been defensively. You wanted to shut down the enemy, to take away their movement. Talk about how your team was able to maintain that game plan when they got a big. First of all, let me say Rick Mahorn is a heck of a coach, always has been. He's got really good players. They're disciplined in what they do. We had to lift our level defensively with communication because they make such great cuts. They don't play the play, they play the game. And the aliens are a team that everybody should be watching. Well, this has probably been the most competitive season of Big Three basketball. Three-headed monsters able to separate themselves at the top. But right now at three and three at 500, you're right there vying for that fourth playoff spot. What is it going to take moving forward for you to actually get in? I loved what we did today with everybody. If we can continue to take it up a notch, stay focused, be for each other and with each other, I think we'll be okay. So calm. I wish I played for you. Thank you. Buckets. Thanks a lot. Congratulations, Nancy. You got it. Strong effort from Nancy Lieberman and Power. And the updated Big Three standings here in week six. Boom. Alien shot to four Boom. and two. Power at three and three. And boy, the final two weeks of the regular season here in Dallas should be unbelievable to decide who's in the top four, who's in the playoffs.
here in season five of the Big Three. Dusan Bullet, 25 points in defeat. Power the balance. Klein with 14, including the game winner. Royce White with 13. And Nicholas Skeetish Feely with 11. And Nancy Lieberman, former counselor, coach, Hall of Famer, you name it, with the win here in Dallas today. And we are just getting.